Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Profile Plus. This is Padma. We upload videos on English fluency development and soft skills. If you are a viewer, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Also, share our videos to your friends. In this video today, I am going to exclusively make some tips on time management. Because I often hear from my participants that they come and complain that they have no time. If you can master the skill of time management, I hope you can schedule everything so easily. And don't skip this video until the end because the tips are going to be very useful. Let's begin. Yes, friends. Let's look at the most important five points you have to self-check if you are looking to develop your time management skills. I do this personally. So let's just discuss the first five points today. The first most important point is, are you scheduling work? Are you a person who always schedule your work for a day, your schedules for a week or a month? See, this is so important that you should always carry a notebook. And first of all, sit and jot down the points like what do you do from morning till night, till you go to bed. See, most of us, we don't do this. We think that already I am packed with it. Why should I just keep writing on a notebook? But just understand this, friends. If you write your work schedule or your personal schedule on a notebook, you can easily organize it. Organizing things are very important when it comes for managing some art means time managing time is also an art okay because i often receive this complaint from most working women or sometimes men that they have no time for family or they have no time to take rest this is so important that you have to balance everything in life and that way it is more important that you schedule things so to schedule things as i told you carry a notebook first sit and write what do you do from morning till night and also if you are planning for a week or i believe in short term plans normally people have a monthly planner but i personally don't believe that i always believe in a weekly planner see before you begin a week then just sit and write what all this what all the schedule the important schedule you have for the you have for the whole week and what all uh, uh, the work time example your morning you wake up and the personal time what you actually need that also you can mention it in a scheduler so this will really help you to organize your time friends the second most important point here is avoid distraction see example uh, you want to manage your time this is really important that while you're making while you're concentrating on a work you have to keep your mobile phones on silent because the biggest distraction I see in everyone in today's uh, fast growing world is the mobile phones. How many of you really don't use your phones when you're planning a project or when you're sketching your, uh, I mean, when you're sketching your um, videos, uh, when you have to just literally go and do some project groundwork okay see when how many of you really switch off your mobile or you keep your mobile in airplane mode or silent this is very important friends as far as you don't avoid distraction your time will keep prolonging you understand this those women who are watching this i think you can uh, really connect to me by watching the second by hearing my second point because while you cook we do multitasking isn't it See, multitasking is fine. That actually you can reduce a lot of time. But distractions are totally different. So don't confuse yourself. Definitely you can wash one or two vessels while cooking. That's a smart way. But coming up to the television and watching a show in between, imagine how much of time you are going to waste with that. So you have a time to watch TV. That's That should be scheduled. As I told you the first point. Second point, while doing one particular work, concentrate. Give your 100% concentration on that work so that you can complete it within the allotted time. So this will save a lot of time in your day schedule. So this is my second tips for today. The third one here is, okay, 
see always prioritize your work example you there are many participants ask me like yes ma'am i normally schedule all my work so perfect i have my planner so i go with my planner schedule but just imagine if there is any unexpected appointments today i have planned between 3 and 4 for my uh, classes but then imagine if i had to meet a client during that time but then it is unexpected how can i manage this see that's why we always say prioritize your work in your planner you should always uh, see two different types of work what are the work is which you cannot really do for the next day there are certain things which you cannot really do for the next day you have to do it then and there so prioritize that in the left hand side there are certain work you can prolong you can just do it on the next day you can just or you can at least do after 10 o'clock you can spend some one hour or one and a half hours you can complete it on the same day in fact so prioritizing your work is very important example you are not you are unable to attend the class between 3 and 4 if there is any other timings possible please try to reschedule it on the same moment if not you can combine your session by tomorrow and you can see which which are your top priorities and the least priority can be erased and give that time to your class so this is how normally you have to do a time schedule and if you skip any of your schedule in between don't try to prolong all other activities skip it erase it from there and go with your proper plan so don't just keep you know uh, pushing it down like you know okay 3 to 5 i could not do it okay i'll change my plan to 4 to 5 this will again collapse your day plan so these are the smartest way that you can schedule your times uh, because it is important to manage your unexpected commitments these days sometimes you may not feel well uh, you know even even that time you may not day, take a whole day break even if you are taking a whole day break imagine okay taking rest is fine but we cannot just keep taking rest for the whole 9 or 10 hours in a day see normally there are some work where you can sit on your bed and you can still manage over the phone so try to do certain things and complete it now and then this is my third tip the fourth one take a proper rest friends take a break which means see uh, people think that okay uh, managing my work schedule is more important once if i manage my work schedule everything is done cool but time management is not really that time management is balancing your work time and balancing your time personally given to you and managing the time what you contribute for your family in fact because there are many people who keep saying that no i have no time for my family because i'm fully packed what do you mean by fully packed what are we really running towards like why are we earning in life so we we are doing a hard work just to have a proper health isn't it your physical health and also when it comes for a health related things it is not only your physical health also your mental health because there are many people who work really hard earn really well but finally they end up spoiling their physical and mental health imagine what is the use of working what is the use of earning them so always have this awareness friends however hard working you are it is very important that you take a proper break means the number of hours you sleep is very important if your sleeping time becomes less the next day it just definitely it affects your day planner mark my words you cannot work during the afternoon times and you feel so tired where you have to postpone all your work because you are unable to give your best how can you give your best only if you look very fresh when you feel very fresh okay so you can uh, contribute more energy don't you all think so so how can you energize get energetic you can get energetic only if you give a proper rest to your body there are few people who can sleep only 5 hours and still can become very fresh but there are certain people who has to sleep for 8 hours it depends on how much your body requires so i cannot give you any standard timing on that but when you sleep again avoid distractions keep your mobile phones away switch off it or just keep it in silent mode or vibrator mode or whatever if it is of any emergency if you are worried then in that case okay but still proper sleep tight sleep 
is really important and if you belong to any uh, profession where you have a lot of pressure now i don't think any profession is uh, really exist without any pressure every professions we have pressure friends so in that case take up something which is uh, really not related and related to your profession as your hobby okay hobbies are not exactly related to your profession friends so doing spending time for your passion and hobby is also equally important there are few lucky people who have their passion as their business as their work okay but there are some people maybe their passion is totally different from the field where they are working right now but still you can contribute your time to uh, pursue your passion and also you can contribute your time in sports gardening all these things are very important and uh, please schedule your planner that you can contribute some of your time for your hobby this will refresh your mind of course it is a time management art i don't i know don't confuse yourself you know spending time personally may just spoil my time management skills definitely not because this is most important that you take a proper rest and taking a break is also important drink more water the next one here is focus on one thing i think this is this uh, also you know related to the second point avoiding distraction focus on one thing means multitasking especially when you work for your uh, i mean when you at workplace multitasking is not advisable but being a woman i know i do multitasking because i work at kitchen okay so the people who cook they know what multitasking is exactly but uh, proper work when you have to concentrate it is always focusing on one thing is important friends okay so don't just keep focusing on two or three things distracting your mind here and there which will take a long time especially for the students who are watching this video remember that if you want to learn even for one hour please put your concentration exactly on the book textbooks if you keep your book for 3 to 4 hours but if you mentally not present there there is there is no use you can never manage your time till on the last day of your exam you will keep saying that i have not revised my portion because you are not managing your time because you have not given a focus you are not contributing something for your studies honestly being honest to yourself is very important friends first of all just take time and think about this are you doing this work only for your own satisfaction so if you have to get satisfied then focus on a work at once like don't focus on two three uh, things at a time focus on one thing is really important which comes for time management i have picked only the most important five tips in this video there are lot of things which we can learn definitely i'm going to make videos on that and fine tune with us always and if you have not subscribed always subscribe the channel and don't forget to press that bell icon So I hope this is useful for you catch you in my next video enrich empower and emerge with english all the very best friends